Hello, this is Bern, and if you want to learn three small changes you can make that will cause a huge difference in your ability to attract the kind of guy you want, stick around because that's what I'll be sharing with you on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super excited to be sharing with you three simple shifts or ways of thinking and being that you can step into that will cause a huge difference in your ability to attract the kind of man you want, to sustain that energy and that aliveness, and to cause him to want to go deeper. See, a lot of women focus on some things that are just so small in terms of return on investment. You have to work so hard at getting your body the, the right shape or buying the right clothes, and I'm not saying those things are not cool. If you want to go for them, <laughs> all the power to you. But there's three simple things you can do that without having to go to extremes that can cause an instant shift and the guy's wanting to go further and connect with you. The first one is how much openness do you show up with? And I'm really talking about up the level of openness that you show up with when you connect to a guy. And that means the way you open your body, the way you open your mind, the way you relax, the way you show yourself with more expressiveness, the way you show yourself with less holding back, the way you're less politically correct and more true to what you're really feeling and thinking. That's openness. When you show up as an open woman, that translates to a guy into radiance and feminine energy and translates into that uh, thing that, that makes his heart want to go deeper. He doesn't even know what's going on inside of him. He just knows that he's gravitating. His energy is gravitating towards you because you're being more open and guys love openness, right? The opposite of openness is rigid and closed and tight. And that's not something that any guy wants to break free from or break through <laughs> with. Okay. The second one is uh, show up with more positivity and more presence. So here's the thing. If you show up with more presence, you naturally will be more positive. Here's why. Because you can't be fully present thinking about the past. And you can't be negative if you're not thinking about the past or thinking about the future. So if you, and here's the thing, guys love positive women. Why? Because they don't carry that thing that we so much hate and you hate as well in men, which is called baggage. So the more baggage you carry because you're thinking about the past, not being present, the more a guy feels this repellent energy that makes him think, I will never be able to make her happy. So if I can't make her happy, I'm killing myself by connecting to this woman. Therefore, I'm just going to pass. <laughs> so if you show up with presence, positive energy is the easy next step for you to go into. And if you want to add a little bit more to it, go into step into gratitude, gratitude and positive energy and that feeling of abundance in terms of uh, energy is, is just, it's, they're one and the same. They're the same family. So step into that. The third one is smile more frequently and smile more deeply. You cannot underestimate the power of a smile. A smile can make a guy who hasn't thought of you that way, who hasn't connected with you, go from, I don't even know she exists to, oh my God, who is she? And I want to connect to her more deeply because a smile makes him feel validated. A smile makes him feel like there's that connection. A smile can be flirtatious. A smile can be an invitation, can be an opening, can be a heartwarming, butterfly creating experience if you do it properly. And by to do it properly, you need to practice more because many women that I have the blessing of connecting with uh, who are not getting the guy they want, they have forgotten the power of doing this from the heart. So a quick tip to do this more powerfully is think of someone you love when you smile. I mean, it's the thing. If you think of someone you love, you can't do anything but smile. It's just a natural response from your body. Or feel the other person in front of you. Feel that connection. Feel the gratitude that you, I mean, of, of being able to connect to someone who might be a great friend, might become the next best thing in your life. Uh, if you show up with that level of presence, that level of humility, that level of openness, that level of curiosity, then the smile that you present will be much more genuine. And that genuine smile can transform the feelings that a guy has for you in one second. So if you think this is powerful or insightful or helpful, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, uh, on the description of this video, there's going to be a box that allows you to sign up to a three-part video series called How to Become the Only Woman He Loves for the Rest of His Life. And uh, if you have any questions for me, place a comment below or uh, so I can either respond to, you, uh, respond to you on YouTube or I can create a video just for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.